Let's take you to Ukraine, where the Energy Minister says the country's power system is meeting people's electricity needs, despite the latest wave of Russian attacks on critical infrastructure. It is 355 days into the Russian-Ukraine war. Russian troops have managed to advance two kilometers to the west in four days along the front line in Ukraine, according to a statement by the Russian Defense Ministry. Russia's Wagner Group has claimed to have taken the village of Krasnohora on the northern edge of Bakhmut. A 53-year-old woman was killed on Sunday after Russian forces shelled an apartment building in the southeastern Ukrainian city of Nikopol, the regional governor said. The Russia-installed mayor of the Ukrainian city, Melitopol, said one civilian was killed and two people were injured in overnight shelling by key forces. Report says British arms and military vehicles could be manufactured in Ukraine, easing the country's dependence on supplies of arms from Western allies. Meanwhile, Ukraine's energy minister says the country's power system is meeting people's electricity needs, despite the latest wave of Russian attacks on critical infrastructure. German Galuchenko said emergency repair had been completed rapidly after Russian attacks on Friday that struck energy facilities across the country. The minister added that additional power units had been put into operation at several thermal power plants following the repair work. Russia says its troops have pushed forward several kilometers along the front lines in Ukraine before an anticipated major offensive. The UK Ministry of Defense says Russian troops are likely strengthening and expanding their defensive positions in occupied parts of Zaporizhia in Ukraine's south and east respectively. Meanwhile, Russia's foreign spy service accuses the US military of grooming individuals affiliated with ISIL and Al-Qaeda to attack targets in Russia without providing evidence.